Paolo, you've obviously uh, worked with a lot of salespeople, sales executives uh, in the past 20 years or more. Uh, so what would be, from your perspective, the fundamental ingredient to succeed in sales? What are some of the key things that great salespeople do that maybe some of these young people and all of us can apply in terms of sales? Ah, that's a very good question. Again, I think that I always ask says people, tell me what, 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 what is the secret ingredient for being successful in your job? It's difficult to find a, one single secret ingredient, to be honest. I think it's a combination of different things. Uh, some of them I already mentioned them. I think that curiosity is important uh, because uh, curiosity means, I think to me, is, is, is a great aggregation of many things, which is you love life. If you're curious, that means that you love life. And if you love life, you have a lot of positive energy and positive energy in sales is very important. And um, it means that it, it is a precondition for everything to happen. Uh, because that means that if you have positive energy, you will probably be more willing to develop the knowledge you mean. I mean, knowledge is usually is a must have. But it depends on what you sell. If what you sell is a commodity, knowledge per se is not very relevant. No, but if you, if you love life, you love others, you love knowledge, you love everything, and if you have the passion, for the passion is the number one word. We did some research on this, and actually we 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 analyzed the words, we do text analyzed, uh, because we ask people around now what you think is a is a secret ingredient, and, and word number one was passion. And I always say, if you look at many corporate uh, statements, you will say, oh, we passionately do something, right? But I always say, I've been lucky enough to study ancient Greek when I was younger. And I know where the, where, where the word passion comes from, because it comes from ancient Greek. It comes from basically pathos and pathé, which means basically suffering. I always tell people, well, if you really have passion for something, that means that you're ready to suffer for that. You, 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 you love something, you love your job so much that you're willing to suffer for this. And suffering for this means you got in, in sales, you got to accept failure. Because in selling, most of the time you will be failing and it is very personal. It is your customer, your opportunity. Your, it's not a corporate thing is your customer will not buy from you. Your customer will tell you, no, thank you. And that's very personal. It's very harmful. Best as people are those who survive failures with enthusiasm. And because failure is definitely part of selling. It's ups and downs. If you sell something, you feel so great because it's your accomplishment. But if you don't sell, which happens, it's really personally harmful. That's pathos. That's passion. You have you are ready to suffer. Why is that? Because you might have a lot of intrinsic motivators. Because you like you like the, the thrill of, 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 of making a difference, making an impact personally. You like to be independent. You are the owner of your destiny. That's what sales people, great sales people are great entrepreneurs. Because they they take the responsibility, they take the risk, they love what they do. They uh, uh, strongly believe in what they do. And they, they don't care about failing. If you think about it, all these things are what make entrepreneurs great entrepreneurs. So I think there's a big overlap between being great entrepreneurs and great sales people. And uh, uh, I think, and I really wish people to try to experiment a little bit of selling in their life in everything they do, even a small project. I always say, but I give you a personal example. I, I, I have a charity, okay? And this has nothing to do with my job. I have a charity and I, I have a purpose with this. I really believe in, in, in gathering funds for some noble causes. And what I do is I challenge myself. Can I sell my charity to someone? Can I raise funds on this? And I train myself 
saying, let me see how good I am in selling my idea. And I compete with an unlimited set of wonderful people who do wonderful words, wonderful things with their challenges. But each of us, we can all train ourselves in, in selling something. Ideas, uh, especially if it is a charity or something positive for the, for the well-being of poor people, for example, we have a reason for doing this. And we are generously trying to exercise and train ourselves on being good salespeople. It, it's, it's a wonderful thing because if we have a noble cause, if really, if we have a great entrepreneurial idea, if we have a great product, a great service, if it's, we have a good idea, why not selling it? And we should have such a, a huge enthusiasm and we should, uh, we should uh, fight against everything who's impeding us to, to, to fully deploy uh, what, what the value of what we believe in. So I think that we can all train and I, I, I stimulate everyone to try to do this, to challenge themselves and let, let me put the challenge of selling something and, and let me see if I can do it. And if I fail, I will keep doing it. And I will try to get, making myself better over and over in selling something, whatever. Because it, you, all of all, all the people who listen to us today, I'm sure they will have dozens of uh, of situations in their lives they, where they will have to sell something valuable, and they will find it difficult to uh, deliver this message to their counterparts. It could so, be a long message to someone you love. It could be a, 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 a relevant life guideline for your sons. It could be a difficult circumstance with your friends. It could be a business situation dozens of times. And if you're not ready to that, if you're not prepared to that, you will probably miss a lot of opportunities. Don't do that. Train yourself in selling. 